This is Jesse the Body along with Vince What's His Name. Brought to you by Burger King, where we do it right. You do it. Ready for action, and now I drag a match officially underway. And I'll say this: this match literally exploded from the opening gun without a doubt. Going for the quick win. <laughs> it means business here tonight. Going right on the attack. I think that's a mistake, big man. I'd stay away from this guy. Jesse, this is going to be some sensational match up here. This should be a great match up, McMahon. You got two guys in here that can wrestle. I'll tell you what, certainly we've had our share of excitement thus far, and this is bound to be a very exciting matchup. I, I thought we were going to see a scientific wrestling match. It certainly is a starting out that way. There's no bump off between these two. No, that's for sure. All right, Jesse, who has the advantage? Give the match a little bit more here. Let's see. My goodness, and look at this. Hammering away. What a seesaw matchup. Well, it started off a wrestling match, and now it's turning into a fight. Ooh. Again and again and again. So I don't think that thing's around the other way, that he would be pouring it on as well. He certainly would in Vince. So. Well, certainly, if you go out to win. Wow. What a matchup. Come on, ref, get in there. Oh, punching. Or at least that's all he's demonstrated here thus far. Well, maybe that was his game plan. Strictly a rough house match. Maybe he feels that by roughing the match up, it's to his advantage to gain the victory. Well, this is a free for all. You know, I like this. Yeah. Because you can't complain about it. And that's legal. Yes, it is. can't complain. Some degree of difficulty here in this matchup. Well, I knew it would be a great matchup. I mean, the guy's credentials speak for themselves as a winner. Lester relies on tremendous agility and great speed. Notwithstanding his extraordinary stamina, and I don't believe he's impressed at all. Well, I'll tell you what, there's been a precedent set here now. Obviously, this is the stronger man, so he's going to have to rely now on quickness and technique in which to secure a victory. He's not going to out-muscle. He's showed that right there. He's quite a man. Maybe right now he's the stronger man as the match progresses. I wonder how much of that strength will be sapped from his body. Definitely. Another sensational maneuver. Remarkable. I didn't think he had it in it. And that's pretty hard. That's a chiropractic adjustment to higher man. I've never seen that done before quite like that. And if I haven't seen it, I know for sure you ain't. Haven't. Not seen. I know this is trivial, trivial, McMahon, but this is cable. I can say ain't. Oh, boy. That's the second time you've offended the youth of America. And you know the great thing about it? You can expect anything. Right now, I think you're, you're really in some trouble. I can tell him how to get out of this, McMahon. Works every time. A quick thumb to the eye. You spin the man around, but the ref can't see it, Come on, you thumb him. Come on, we have youngsters watching this program. That's a smart move. Use everything available to you. Smart. Which is what he needs and wants to do. These are tough. I mean, really tough. Now he's roughing it up. Now he's going back to some classic wrestling smart wrestling oh. and that's the go look man it's interesting and i believe thus what has proven himself to be the aggressor in this match and i don't know that that's the way that we normally would have expected this match thus far well it's hard to tell you know in the world of wrestling much like the old cliche of football on any given day oh, any different wrestler can beat another different wrestler just say that that worked just about as good as the thumb to the eye didn't it Control of things. Just like that, one he saw battle goes one way, two, three. Oh, and right now I give you credit. Five. Five. This is professional wrestling. Yeah, we'll hear some of the band from on ringside. Looks like a fan out there's got one of the custom Jimmy Hart megaphones. I'm just off the top of this album. Jimmy Hart with that ubiquitous megaphone. One megaphone. You know, Jimmy and his constant sh chatter up there, that's reassuring to his wrestlers. Well, I'm not too sure if it's reassuring to his wrestlers, but it certainly has to be annoying. 
to the opponent. Well, it works both ways. Nevertheless, it's for Jimmy Hart. Oh, Come on, Brad. you got to give Jimmy Hart credit, though, McMahon, for getting so actively involved in his wrestler's match. Illegally, actively involved. Eagle, he'll be eagle. What's the difference? And you can bear sensational Sherry or scary Sherry. One. Look at that. I'm fucking because Two. Sherry is deadly. You know, she's Three. the former women's champion. Four. So she can get in there and mix it up. Five. She can do that. Five. Six. She must be about 150 pounds. Sherry Seven. is an asset, McMahon. She gets more involved in the match. She's in tough shape, McMahon. Yeah, my heart bleeds for her. It ought to. You know what's great about her, McMahon? You could definitely walk down a dark alley with sensational Sherry. Yeah, she would scare everybody to death. I love it, McMahon. Sherry will do anything to win a match. She'll have to disrobe at ringside. Two. Elizabeth would never have the guts to get involved. The guts? That's right. That's what it takes. That's right. You know, I'll tell you, in a lot of instances, the lady wrestlers at times, McMahon, seem even more vicious than some of the men wrestlers. I've never seen anyone better in women's wrestling than the Bomb Angels. McMahon, I've got a question for you. What's that? What's the names of the two Bomb Angels? Uh, unfortunately, I... I can't speak Japanese all that well. I mean, I might want a paper later tonight. What do I call him? Bomb Angel? It's okay. And I believe Norio. What's her name? If I'm pronouncing it correctly, it's Norino. Norino? That sounds Italian to me. Well, Jesse, I don't know. One. Don't look Italian. Two. No, she doesn't. Wait a minute. Three. Four. Five. Kind of reminds me of me. That uh, reminds me of you as well. Hey, what arrogance. That's called confidence. No, that's arrogance. That's not confidence. I wonder what would mean more, winning the Jesse the Body Award or a victory? Well, I think they're both in their own way just as big. Being the winner of the Jesse the Body Award is phenomenal. And I mean, is. you'd love to win it. But then again, looking at your body, we can tell why you wouldn't. But then again, wrestling is the bottom line. He's probably jealous he didn't win the Jesse the Body Award. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even nominated. Uh, not even at all the nominations he wasn't. That's true. Now here's a man that's put together. Really put together. Jesse the Body's physique, years ago even, that's like comparing horse manure to ice cream, or different, or kind of like me comparing my body to yours right now, right? They have a pose down one of these days. Oh, and always has time to show his fans the appreciation he feels. A little conversation with some of the fans. Well, see, this is all this is all psychological here. His one matches to his advantage. Two. Could very well be. In this particular three. Contest. Look at this. Pat looking to find out here real quick. Five. What advantage do you obtain by talking to Six. your opponent like that? The advantage is a psych out of Seven. Advantage. You'll see it in boxing, you'll see it in football, you see it in wrestling. If you can get your opponent to think about what you're saying to them, well then obviously they're not gonna react so well to the heat of the battle. Again, the fans try to give a little momentum. It's the Boston crowd bringing up the chair. Weasel bringing the ring in and doesn't like it at all. You find that totally funny, don't you? Quite humorous, I must admit. Yeah. Where does somebody to embarrass you like that sometime? Oh, really? Of course, you're an embarrassment all the time anyway to me. Well, thank you, Jesse. Happy to ride a car company. You would, McMahon. You're the only one who ain't got it. Why do you continue to laugh at Bobby Heenan? He deserves to be laughed at. He laughs at enough people on his own. I'll tell you this, if it gets down to managers, I'll take Heenan over Elizabeth in my corner any time. Bobby the Brain Heenan, whom we, of course, saw a little bit earlier on. Don't you got to hand it to Heenan, McMahon? The inspiration outside the ring. Don't you agree, McMahon? Inspiration. Right away, 20,000 fans here, Jack, packing this arena. Putting him to reputation, that's right. <laughs> One. We'll be Two. right back as we continue the three. World Wrestling Federation action. Hey, me, no way a little screw like you is going to change oh. my way. It's just time we were tempted with the taste of nuts and honey. Hulk Hogan doesn't eat nuts and honey. Did you taste this? 
unbeatable part of this nutritious breakfast. That's better than a fine form. Undefeated. And still champion. <laughs> Now watch me waste the Macho Man with the claimed WrestleMania for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Electra, an elbow smash, a body slam! WWF WrestleMania for the claim! Ooh, yeah, I want to see that. You got One, a new WWF figure two, with real wrestling action. Three, Take the Snake Roberts versus the Million four, Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. DiBiase lands a million dollar punch. Match Hulk Hogan against the Macho King Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah, my almost missed with finish Hogan guaranteed. Hogan slams him again. Match Andre the Giant against the Ultimate Warrior. Andre will squash the Ultimate Maniac. WWF figures so close to the real thing, it's like being in the ring. Some of the Hulkamaniac's favorite moves are on WWF Primetime Wrestling. Catch him on USA, America's favorite cable network. of our match. Let's talk about what you claim. One was a world bench press record at 712 pounds. Right, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk a little bit about it, Jesse. Dino Bravo, who did not, in my view, set the world bench press mark, although one may be dead. Who are you talking about? Count You're two. not saying Dino Bravo's a champion, are you? You're not saying he actually lifted that weight? He gets 715. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you not reach down and help him with that weight right did you not? No, I was just spotting him close. I did not close my hands around that bar. What? There's space in between there. Bravo Two. pushed it up on his own. Are you questioning Three. my integrity, McMahon? Four. Listen, I'm only telling you the way it looked. Five. It looked as though you helped him a bit. First of all, Six. a person of your stature knows Seven. nothing about weight. Nothing. Eight. So therefore, you do not know what constitutes a legal limp. I know that when you put your hands around the bar, you I have... did not touch the bar. You what? I did not touch the bar until it was extended. Then I grabbed it. You know, McMahon, if you keep making these assumptions, these unfounded assumptions, you might be involved in a rumble right here at the desk. Uh, When's the last one? You had a fist. Two, three, three. It seems to me that Mr. Bravo was...